Alex Stokes. Yeah, thanks. Um, well, it's a pleasure to be with all of you here today in Oxford. Um, and I've been here quite a few times campaigning over the years with Elise, um, more recently also with Sid and David. We had a really great Young Greens convention here back in 2007 as well. Anyway, I'd like to use this opportunity to talk to you about the role of deputy leader. Um, because I think that it's probably more than just stepping up to the plate uh, with media obligations that the leader can't make. Um, in a time when it's critical to grow the grassroots of our party, I believe that the leader must be a voice for grassroots members, a voice that liaises with the regional council, with uh, representative members on GPEX, and works to develop sustainable forms of fundraising. In other words, I believe that mainly the, the role of leader is outward facing, whilst the role of deputy leader is primarily <coughs> inward. And that job is critical at a time when local far parties face the twin challenges of a Tory-led government's cuts on the one hand and battling against inser an insurgent Labour Party on the other, which in many cases is determined not to let us challenge them from the left. But challenge them we must, because Labour left millions behind during their time in government. And as someone who started their political um, life in Liverpool, um, I'm one of those people. Now, I marched against the war in Iraq in 2003, along with a million other people. And I then became one of the many hundreds, if not thousands, of people who have joined the Green Party, not just because we are the best party when it comes to the environment, but because we understand what needs to be done to achieve social justice in this country. We know that austerity is not the answer, and millions of people in England and Wales have turned away from the Tories and Lib Dems because they too know that it is not the answer. But many are turning to Labour by default, and that is why I believe we must challenge Labour from the left. And now it's our time, because polls show that the public trusts neither of the two big parties on the economy. And when you look at how similar their economic policies are, it isn't a great surprise. But the question is how we challenge Labour, and how we challenge all parties for votes, council seats, and ultimately MPs. Now, the European elections in 2014 are our next biggest challenge. In four regions in 2009, we were just 1.3% away from returning MEPs uh, to the European Parliament. And a lot has happened since 2009. We have gained our first ever Green MP in Brighton and Hove for our councillor. We now run our first ever administration. And for the very first time, we have beaten the Lib Dems across an entire region in the London mayoral elections. We can implement what's been learned from those campaigns to guarantee that come 2014, we won't be returning two MEPs but drop double or triple that. And we must make sure that our voice is heard on all topics, from the Euro to immigration to jobs. But what, also we, what we also need to do is to support regional parties. And my <coughs> idea is that we, we match fund regional parties so that they are independent and can have regional support workers. Basically, I've <coughs> got a plan for success with our party. And together, I know that we can do it. Thank you.